Hello friends, my name is Rockley Smile, but you can call me Nick, and I am here today to answer a question that's probably one of my most commonly asked questions in the realm of my spelunking endeavors, and that question is, what is a double dragon? Well, today we're going to go over a little bit of a crash course of what you might expect out of a double dragon, where you might find a double dragon, and how to properly maintain and take care of your double dragon. So, for example here, say you were wandering about in the mines, like this Viking man that we see on screen today, uh, he's going to make his way down a little bit, and what do you know, you stumble upon this naturally occurring rock formation. This, my friends, is what we call a double dragon. It's very, very common. It's a thing we see probably one in about every between maybe four to eight games that we go through. They only occur in the mines, though, so that's something to keep in mind if you are looking out for these. Uh, they're not hostile. You don't have to worry about them. They're not going to attack you or anything. In fact, a lot of the time, they even harbor jewels or treasures right in their mouths. As you can see, these two double dragons happen to hold a sapphire each, as well as this one has an arrow, and also a, a bit of gold in it, strangely enough. And then there's even a, an extra ruby uh, located in the jaw, but it's kind of discouraged to try and get that ruby out of the jaw, because that would actually harm the dragon, and you really don't want to do something like that. Really nothing good could come of it. Uh, there are also some other permutations of double dragons that you might run into in your endeavors in uh, Spelunky World. Uh, those might be the uh, the half-formed, malformed uh, half-double dragon, which can be uh, two dragons with a third dragon sort of m mutated onto the bottom side of one of them, perhaps. And then there's also the very rare quad dragon, uh, and there's a bit of a misconception with quad dragons. A lot of times people think that they might be uh, this kind of a formation, but with another dragon like later on further down and no it's really nothing like that at all in fact the, d the quad dragon is only something that can happen uh, pretty rarely uh, when you find the dragons uh, right up against each other which is a bit of an interesting situation like I said you're not gonna run into it like nine times out of ten most of the time you'll think you have a quad dragon but you have uh, some other form of a double dragon uh, which is basically really it's not a big deal you don't have to worry about it uh, this is a thing that you're going to see from time to time, and it's just kind of the nature of the beast. But, uh, you know, I just figured we would kind of go over some of the things that might happen. I'm glad uh, that maybe we can answer this question finally and put it behind us, because it's a thing that's certainly come up a lot of times. So, uh, in the event that maybe you found yourself uh, feeling satisfied with the answers that I've given you today, maybe you could go ahead and leave a like on this video. I'd appreciate it quite a bit. And uh, maybe we could come back and actually answer some more nagging Spelunky questions in the future. So thanks everyone for watching, and I will see you next time.